G'day everyone. So we're going to work on the next activity in our animation project right now. And the first thing we want to do is go into Scratch and we're going to uh, pick a, uh, that we want to paint a new sprite. Um, we don't want to actually uh, pick a sprite just yet and I'll uh, show you why. So we click paint new sprite and it gives us a blank sprite here. And the uh, thing we want to do now is actually choose the costume from here. And the reason we do that is because if we had loaded the sprite in over here, it would have loaded in all of the sprite images. And we only want one because we're going to actually do all of the additional costumes ourselves. So we want to choose the costume here from the library. And you'll see now it's actually got each individual costume of all of the characters. And we want to make sure we select a vector character. Again, if you remember, they're easier to work with as far as modifying and keeping the uh, quality of the image um, pretty, pretty well uh, aligned without pixelating too much. So if I go down, I've picked out one before and I'll just find the one I was looking for. I use the fish, uh, this guy. That was pretty easy for me to modify. And the um, first image in our list here, we wanna get rid of that blank image and we're gonna work just with our fish. So to start with, there's a new feature in the, uh, make sure we're in vector mode. There's a new feature in the vector uh, tools, but when I select um, the fish, that comes up. Now, it's called ungroup. Now, this is a, a feature that most image editors have in, in when you're working with uh, vectors, is that it allows you to combine a whole bunch of uh, different parts of an image together into like one image. So right now when I move this around, the entire object moves, but it's actually made up of, um, and this is the same for almost all of the images in Scratch, but if I ungroup it, you'll see now when I select that it's actually broken it down into different parts. And um, that that's the way most people create their images and put them together so that now if I, I wanna move, I move only just a, a piece of the image. So you wanna ungroup your images. The thing that you want to be careful of though is not to ungroup them too far. If I ungroup this again, now when I move it, it's starting to look a little weird because I'm actually moving the uh, parts of the image that I probably want to still keep together. So uh, the way to do that is actually to select all of this uh, with the select tool. Just do that and I can uh, group them back together. So now they're grouped. So that uh, is important to make sure you follow kind of like how grouping and ungrouping works because we're gonna use that uh, now to allow us to modify the image for our animations. And the first uh, thing I'm going to do here with this is I'm going to create another copy for my next animation. And uh, I'm just gonna do a simple change where I'm gonna make it look like the fish is swimming across the screen. And so I'm only doing two images. You can do a bunch more with lots of changes. One thing I did before is actually played around with his eyes rolling around, um, which looked pretty cool. Um, it doesn't take too long to go through all, uh, doing all of that for this uh, tutorial. So go ahead and uh, just uh, once you've done the changes that you want, you're gonna have to create the script again where you are using a forever loop and the next costume. And again, if I run, it'll be running too fast. If I click on this, you can see my fish is wagging his tail very quickly. Um, slow that down to about, probably about 300 milliseconds, I think. So I'll point three of a second. And I wanna make my fish swim back and forth across the screen. Uh, let's do move 10 steps. And if I'm on the edge, I want him to bounce. I don't want him to go upside down. This is something to watch out for. This is a rotation style. Um, I clicked on the actual eye button here on the sprite. And I changed, instead of being rotate here, I'm gonna change it to back and forth. And that stops him from flipping upside down when he's going uh, back the other direction. He just points left and right. And I think that's about it. Um, so again, you can go to the costumes and you can add as many as you like and change the different piece, pieces of the existing Scratch uh, images. So have fun and see what you come up with of playing around and changing the existing uh, animations to your own stop frame animation.